What's up, cronies? I want to go into the seven day challenge. So, for the seven day challenge, the goal is in seven days to turn a dime into $25. Right up here is your balance. Here's your pending balance. Here's your balance, you, basically your pending picks and your regular balance, what you have left. The couple things to let you know basically, um, the contest starts at 12.01 on Monday a.m. and goes to 11.59 Eastern Standard Time on Sunday. So make sure whatever picks on Sunday you're putting in have the ability to be graded prior to 11.59. We also will give you a notification as well when you're putting in a pick that's later in the day that it needs to be graded in order to be counted. So I just wanted to point that out real quick. Also to um, one other thing, you have to make picks on spreads and totals only, and it needs to be minus 140 or below. If you try to make picks above minus 140, you're not going to be able to do it, or you won't get the option to make the pick. You won't even get a seven day option. So um, let me see if I can find one here in the MLB quick, kind of show you what you're going to get. All right, so minus 165. If I try to take this, the seven day challenge option is not going to be available. But if I go, let's see here. Well, let's just do a plus one. And then the seven day challenge is available. Let me go through the pick process here quick. So basically, you need to wait for a 10 second countdown for the ads to load. And then you're going to get an option. And basically, you can either enter amount that you want to bet on the game, or you can hit a minimum minimum bet, which is one cent, or a max, which is your max, however much you got left in your balance. Um, it's up to you what you want to do. For this one, I'm just going to do a penny. I'm going to confirm my pick. You're going to see my balance went down and my pending went up. Once you're done with your pick, you can find your bets in your My Bet section under Seven Day Picks. You have a Pending Picks tab and a Completed Picks. The Completed Picks is obviously once a pick is graded, and the result is in, you can go and it moves over to the completed picks. One other thing I want to show is you do have the option to forfeit a bet if it's you made a bet and it's losing and you want to replenish. Um, you can do that. But I want uh, to point out basically that it is not a cancel. It's a forfeit. So you don't get your money back. Um, I want to point that out. Um, cancel is not forfeiting. So if you do forfeit, note it know that you're not going to get your money back. You're basically killing your bet. Um, we also have a last week's seven day pick. So after uh, Sunday, when you come back that following Monday, you'll be able to see your last week's picks as well. Um, then you can go through those on any pick. And um, I also want to point out too, that you can just click on it. You can see there'll be like a little check mark by the pick you made and then whatever your result. If it's a win, loss, or push, um, you will see that there. In your pending section, um, you won't see a result um, because obviously it's pending. Your balance section um, is right here as well. It's very similar to your My Bets. You can see, you can click on your View Bet, and you can see that, and you can kind of keep up with your balance. Um, we also have uh, last week's seven-day balance. Uh, again, it works just like My Bets. On Sunday, after that week's uh, seven-day challenge is over, you'll be able to view your balance from the previous week. We also have a leaders section um, that you can go in and see, you know, who's at the top of the leaderboard for the seven-day challenge. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, but for the most part, that's kind of it in a nutshell. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, you have seven days, like I said, to turn a dime into $25. One of the questions we've been getting is what happens if I lose my money? Well, 
if you have pending picks out, you need to wait for all those to be graded. Um, but if you don't have any picks out, we replenish you back to a nickel. So you'll be able to start betting again. You don't have to wait for another week. Um, you'll be able to start betting right away again. Um, and you can see that in your my or your balance section. Or excuse me, your my bet section. It says all picks must be graded to replenish. So once all your picks are graded, you will it'll automatically go into your balance and you'll be able to start betting again. So keep that in mind when making your bets. If you have any questions or concerns, you can always put in a support ticket under help um, and fill out a support ticket and we'll get right back to you um, and answer your questions. But that's kind of it. Let me know if you have any questions, concerns. Thanks.